Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video has been prompted by a subscriber who was having range problems with their Radio Master R88 receiver. Now, when we use the Motor Protocol module for D8 and D16 receivers, uh, basically we need to find frequency tune them. And if you don't, you can have and probably will have range problems. So how do you know how to do this? It's easy. I'm going to show you in the video you're about to watch. But basically, if the option is there where you bound your receiver, then you will need to do this. So let's switch over to the radio and I will show you how to do this. Now, I've already bound the ReadyMaster R88 to my TX16S, but this will go for any open TX radio. Now, if you want to find out whether you need to do this fine frequency tune, you need to go to your model and go to the, the, the first tab, the model setup, and go to the bottom. Now, when you bound your receiver, you can see we're getting the RSSI come through. Now, you shouldn't really do it this close to the radio, but for demonstration purposes, I need to do this. And you can see the options there. If, they, if the option is there, you must do it. Otherwise, you may have a, a range problem. So the way we do this is we push enter. Now, we're going to scroll one way. It doesn't matter which way we go first. And we're going to keep going until so we're, we're doing the minus side so we're going to watch we can watch the light of the receiver we can also watch the rssi so we're going to scroll telemetry lost there we go we lost telemetry now we need to come back slowly rssi critical telemetry recovered okay so we are there no we're not RSSI critical. Okay, now I would keep going until we constantly stay connected. You can see the light. RSSI critical. So it's, you have to be patient when you're doing this. RSSI critical. You see, it could be because the receiver's too close. There we go. We're still getting flickering, but we're getting the RSSI through. So let's say that is minus, so we're going to write that figure down, minus 15. And then we're going to go the other way. RSSI critical. Okay. Okay, so we have to go quite a way there. So now we're going to slowly go back. Telemetry recovered. Okay, and there you saw we, we, we recovered far quicker than on the minus figure. So that's going to be, so there's actually plus 56. So we need to add those together. So you obviously take that away. So that's 4, 1. Then you divide that by 2. So let's round it to say it would be uh, divided by two, let's say it's 20. So then we need to go back to our fine frequency tune and dial that down to 20. And push enter, and then you should be good to go. That's how we need to do it. Now, as I said earlier, if it shows you this option for whatever receiver you're using, you need to do this fine frequency tune. Otherwise you could have range problems. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, now you've seen it um, being filmed with the receiver here, I'm going to move this receiver right out of the way and we're going to do it again and see if there's any difference. So I moved it about a metre away from the radio. Let's do this again and see if we come up with the same figures. So we're going to click again and we're going to go to, let's go to minus 15. We're going to minus 15. Okay. RSSI critical. Okay, you see now I've moved it away. Okay, it's coming back. Now yeah, it's fluctuating. Um, let's go. Telemetry lost. Okay, so. RSSI critical. Telemetry recovered. So it doesn't look like uh, having it too close to you will cause too many problems. Let's just go the other way. So the other way we came up with which plus 56. 
So Telemetry lost. Back to 56. Telemetry recovered. Yeah. So it hasn't made you. So you actually can do that quite close. But in practice, I would definitely do it with the, um, the, the receiver uh, about two meters away from your radio. Thanks for watching this video and if you found it useful please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.